Hello, my name is Roland Reyer. I am a technical specialist for Maya at Autodesk Media Entertainment in Europe. This video is a short introduction to my script Randomizer, which is part of the bonus tools. The Randomizer lets you randomize the transformations of an object and components as well as any channel and even the selection itself. The Randomizer is easy to use. Select some objects and choose Bonus Tools, Modify, Randomize Transforms. Apply some Translate, Rotate, Scale randomization, then close the window and that's it. Let's have a closer look. When you open the Randomizer it will register all selected objects. You can also click on Reload Selection to re-register the current selection. The section Objects is a simplified, user-friendly version of the randomization. Move the sliders to apply some randomness for Translate, Rotate and Scale. Note that for Translate and Rotate there are positive as well as negative random values. For Scale there are only positive values. You can multiply the random values for each axis. That way you can, for example, limit the randomness to one axis. The flag Uniform Scale lets you apply the same random value to all three axes. If you don't like the random values that are currently applied, you can click on New Seed to create new random numbers for all channels. Now let's have a look at the randomization of single channels. I'll select this row of objects and in the channel box I'll mark the X Translate and the Y Rotate channel. In the Randomizer window I'll click on Reload Selected. In the section Channels I find controls for these two channels. The first slider for each channel is the amount of randomness. The value Offset will be added to the random number. The value Step creates a stepped result. In this example all values snap to steps of 0.5. To reset everything to 0 click the Reset button. To apply the settings just close the window or reload the selection. You can then still undo all changes. The section Components lets you randomize the position of selected components. Any selection will be converted to vertices. Here's an example for the use of the randomizer. This is a single leaf or blade of grass with a bent deformer applied. I want to create many blades with random settings for the bent deformer. I'll open the Duplicate Special options, set the number of copies to 50 and make it duplicate the construction history, in this case the Bend Deformer. Then I'll select all Bend Deformers, mark their Translate Y and the Curvature channel in the channel box and load it into the randomizer. In the Channel section I can now randomize the Bend Deformer for the blades. And then I delete the history on all grass blades and reload them into Randomizer. Now I randomize the rotation, only the Y rotation and the scale. That's still too regular but the X rotation doesn't work as expected. I have to select the X rotation as a channel, reload that and then change just the X rotation into the negative range. Then I combine the leaves to create one plant. I make 50 copies, reload them and distribute them in X and Z, rotate them in Y only or maybe a bit in X and Z and scale them a bit. And then I want to apply various colors. I can do that by assigning shaders. Let me first reload the objects to kind of bake the current settings. In the selection section I'll reduce the selection to half, assign a new shader and then click on New Seed to get a different selection and then I assign another shader. I could also repeat the last command using the G hotkey. And then I do that a few times to have a number of shaders. I could then open the hypergraph, select all these shaders. In the channel box I'll select their color channels and reload them into Randomizer and randomize their colors. You see what I mean. To make sure that the colors contain more green, I apply some offset to the green channel. This was a short introduction to the script Randomizer that is part of the bonus tools. If you have any issues or questions or suggestions, please feel free to contact me via mail.